Up first this evening, devastation in St. Mary and St. Anne following heavy rains on Tuesday. We have comprehensive coverage beginning in St. Mary, where looters sought to capitalize on the distress of some businesses. Vashon Brown was in the parish and now reports. Scenes from Port Maria, St. Mary, a day after heavy rains wreaked havoc. A stark contrast to these images captured on Tuesday when the town was pretty much underwater. For business operators, they've been left with a huge task. They were busy Wednesday morning cleaning up mud and muck. Nisha Gay Champagne is the manager of Fashion Mall Furniture and a Department Store. We so lost almost everything. Everything damaged. Fridge, furniture, stove, everything. A lot of things. It's a very big setback. Oh, could you come at work? Because I said the water catch me here. I was in my digital shirt, it turned brown. Brown. So you already got dressed for work? Yes. So I have to turn back. Devon Brown works at the meat place in the St. Mary capital. He listed the items that were damaged by the flood waters. Flour, rice, sugar. See, there are about, about 20 bags of sugar out there now on the ground. And rice, about 30 bags of rice. And about, about 10 bags of flour and salt and so on, all the things them. The thing, all the shelf fall down with, it, with these things them and what's never under the mud of the sweet them outside and so on. Chicken parts, beef, mutton, chicken, ox steel and such delight. Meat, fish, call one whole fridge, meat, one whole fridge of fish there so they, 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 we have to dump them and dash them away. Avril Cooperwind owns the meat shop. She's still in shock. She says she's been doing business in the town for more than 20 years. She has experienced flooding before, but it's never been this bad. The water does come sudden. The rain was falling about in at 7 o'clock, and then all of a sudden, the water does start take the building over. They take the whole entire shop. I came and I saw, on my way up, I saw it. I decided I have to come in the shop, so I had to climb the podium behind there to come inside the shop. The shop water was terrible. It was about four feet, almost got my waist inside here. Then I realized the water was rising, so I had to come out and go back onto the, the floating out there. The employees also told us that the meat shop was looted. Now, like business operators, residents here in Port Maria, St. Mary, are also carrying out cleaning up activities. Now, at this particular house, the water came to this level. I spoke to the people living here, and they say they've lost everything. I didn't hear it over the radio mm -hmm. to say we're going to have a flood or flash or anything, nothing like that. While I hotel was talking to my son, the water come to the gate. I said, look here, the water is at the gate. Then I said, it's behind the car. Let me put this here outside. Behind the car. I said, Dennis, Dennis, it's inside here. So. And by the, I have books, you know, I love books. Everything, I try to pack up. By the time I pack up, then turn, tumble over. So, it's terrible, man, terrible. My grandbaby cry all, when you see the water rise, he cry all the time until we get help to pull him out of the house, the fireman. I nearly joined by the primary school, is the fireman helped me. The first thing he asked me if I can swim and I said no. And he gave me the life jacket and the, and the, the car to hold on and I carried me upstairs. We also visited the Port Maria Primary School Wednesday morning. The picture of devastation was clear outside the classroom and inside. School administrators say they're unable to tell us when the institution will reopen. In the Port Maria housing scheme in particular, residents are refuting claims that a drainage problem caused the flooding. It's not the drain, the river. The river, I smell the river, river when it rise up. And I call my daughter and said to my daughter, pack up the things because the river is coming. When I look behind, I'm, I was by the school gate, I saw the water coming from the river. That river that she's speaking about is the Otram River, which flows through the center of the St. Mary capital. It's not the first time that residents have argued that the river is the reason for the misery. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.